guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to talk to you about the hurdles you might be facing and how we can get over these to start a profitable, enjoyable business that you love and that truly fits around your lifestyle. So first things first, when you are starting your bloom business, self-doubt is probably the biggest hurdle that we all have to get over somehow. It's make or break with this hurdle. Self-doubt is completely normal and I want you to know that everybody, even the biggest blue artists in the world, still have self-doubt. So you guys hear me talk all the time about that comparison compound that is built inside with us. So when you are fearing self-doubt, when you are just completely surrounded and consumed with self-doubt, the comparison compound then starts to creep in what I mean by that is you will find yourself scrolling through loads of established artists, you'll be going through the explore page, you'll be comparing your work and that is normal as well but that will really really stop you from going any further in your business. Let me tell you how you can deal with this hurdle. Basically first things first, you've got to realise that everybody is on their own journey you're on yours and other artists are on theirs and everybody is insecure about something at some point and it is completely normal. People have been going for years. Other artists who are established and are showcasing their beautiful work online, you don't see the failures, you don't see the trial and error, you don't see everything that they've gone through to get to that point. That end result, that end picture that they've posted may have been a result of the worst setup and the worst circumstances ever. You just don't know. People only project the very best on social media. So you're basically you're comparing yourself to a dream. You could be on your day one and that person could be on their day 50,000. You just have no idea. So please just put your blinkers on, focus on you, and then you will propel through this industry so much quicker. The next hurdle that you might be facing is just being confused and overwhelmed by the whole industry. I know that when you step into it, you have no idea how much actually goes into it. It's scary, it's like a black hole. So I would personally start off by writing the reasons why you started. Why are you starting this business? Is it because you've got children? Is it because you want a flexible lifestyle? Do you want a job on the side? Are you a creative person that just wants to be able to express themselves? All of these things and your reasons why will keep you grounded and will keep you pushing forward no matter what the circumstances are. It's a massive, massively important subject and topic to be focusing on and Focusing on what's truly within is the most important thing and I'll tell you why. Because when you start focusing in on you, on your traits, whether they be good, whether they be bad, whether they, whether they be a little bit crazy, when you focus on those little traits from within, it will start to translate through your work and then you'll become individual because the next stage, the next hurdle that we all go through is trying to stand out. Everybody feels that it's a really oversaturated business and it's not because there's only one you and you realising that is like a light switch you guys. I can't even express how important it is. Some people will, you know, end up just doing bits of everything and that's okay but if you focus and connect with the colors that you like to work with if there is a theme or a pattern that you like to experience if you like working with children's setups if you like working with wedding setups if there's a specific um color palette that you love to work with and you stick with that and you're true to yourself believe me you will stand out from this massive crowd so let's recap you guys, making sure that you are completely focusing on yourself. Your insecurities are completely normal. Just don't let yourself compare to people's day a thousand, okay, when you're just starting out. 
you need to make sure that you are connecting with the colors, connecting with the style, connecting with you with, within to make your work completely individual. And you guys, you will smash it. I've got you, I've literally got you. I am rooting for you guys. So go out there and just do your best. That's all I can say, like it's so important. Just do your best and then you will never ever fail, okay? Go and click the link in my bio to find our free quiz, what is your balloon style? And this will help you clarify if you are struggling to find your style right now, go and click the link. It takes one minute, completely free, and it's so much fun. So I really hope this video helped you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.